Crafty Monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these fancy, fancy looking little birthday cards. Aren't these cute? Just take a look at that. Yes, we did. This is what we did, Bobo. This is what we did. So we're going to be making these cards. And um, I'm going to show you how easy it is and how we just slap these little bad boys together. And I just went, you know, a little different. I kind of changed it up and I did a little tool kind of bow instead of your regular ribbon. Nobody said you couldn't do that. So I did. You know, Matthias, it was his idea. So... We said, okay, <laughs> like, honestly, it really was. <laughs> he went over there and pulled it out. Well, he pulled that and several other ones. But I guess he was trying to tell me, like, look at all this stuff. <laughs> and so I was like, that was good. The little gold one, it works, Matthias. <laughs> He's brilliant. So anyway, let's get down and dirty with the crafty, and I will see you guys in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So in this tutorial, we're going to be making those fancy birthday cards. We will be using this black and gold paper, this white and gold paper, and then this stamp set from Michaels. And we're gonna go ahead and pick a DSP paper from each one of these card, I mean, each one of these paper pads. And yeah. <laughs> so these are the ones that we're going to use as card mats. So go ahead and cut these down um, to the measurements of the card that you're going to be making. Now, if you guys don't know about card mats and card bases, there will be a link at the bottom on card mats and card bases. And that'll give you more of an explanation for the card bases and the card mats. So this is basically what it's going to look like. You guys, seriously, this... Um, card is going to be super super elegant looking and it's going to be like super simple steps seriously like you're not even gonna need any special tools so right here we're just going to get our little glitter paper and you guys already know the little move I'm gonna make one of them is gonna be a white mat in front of this gold paper and the other one is going to be a black and we're gonna go ahead and emboss that with some gold embossing powder so that we can go ahead and have everything get pulled together with the gold and the blacks and the whites and the golds and the whatnot. So right here we're just going to go ahead and prepare our area and then get our sentiments from this stamp set from Michaels and I'm going to go ahead and just align these, pick them up with my little block and then we're going to go ahead and hit these with our anti-static pouch. And then we'll pick this up with that watermark, the Versamark watermark um, ink. And we'll go ahead and stamp that down on our paper. And then we'll put a little bit of the gold um, embossing powder. Uh, you guys have seen me do this before. If you guys haven't ever tried this, you guys definitely need to try it. Don't feel intimidated, guys. I feel that the embossed look on a card looks... Just so elegant, so professional, so, I mean, it's just, it looks so much nicer. And so right here, we're going to just go ahead and put that away and clean our little stamps and put that away because you know the rule, guys. We have to have everything put away and clean so it's ready for the next project. And then we're going to go ahead and cut out the center of those glitter <laughs> papers because you guys know how I do this because we do not want to waste that because Jesse's super frugal. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the middle part of that glitter paper because we could eventually use that for something else. You guys you guys know the drill, boo-boos. You know the drill. Don't, don't be playing like you don't. So that's basically all I wanted my Sizzix for was just to cut out that middle part of the glitter paper. So now what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and put these little bad boys together and hit these with the heat first so that they can melt the powder. And there's your metallic finish. How awesome is that? I'm telling you guys, the look 
is in. Okay, my little crafty monsters. It's the Luke. <laughs> so go ahead and glue down your uh, DSP paper to your card base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just make sure that it's all evenly distributed with our little roller and that it's all smooth and no bumpies or little lumps or anything like that. That's basically what I love using this ruler for. And I'm telling you over right here, I got a little bit of glue. And so I'm just getting my eraser and trying to scrape that off, which and honestly, to tell you the truth, when this happens, you should just let it dry first and then it'll be easier to take it off with the eraser. But I panicked and I started taking it off and it kind of, it all was removed, but it did leave a little tiny bit of a stain. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and layer our little sentiments in the front. It's going to be the little glitter paper and then it's gonna be your little sentiment in the front. And the glare of this gold uh, DSP paper is really not letting you see the true beauty of that card, but that card came out super, super gorgeous. And the black one too, I mean, the black is my favorite color, but that white and gold came out really nice too. So that's all I'm doing right here, guys, is I'm just gluing down the little frame and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my sentiment in the front. And nobody will ever know that you cut out the middle of that glitter paper. <laughs> Nobody's gonna look at this card and be like, damn, Jesse's frugal. <laughs> And so I'm not gonna do your traditional bow. We're gonna go ahead and get some tool, some gold tool. And this was um, requested by Matthias. Matthias wanted us to use this. He went into our stash and he pulled this and a few other tools. <laughs> but this is the only gold one. So I said, all right, Matthias, we're gonna use the gold one. So we're gonna go ahead and just make like a little bow out of this. And I'm gonna use some black. Uh, this is like in the crocheting, like, well, it's crocheting and knitting in the yarn section is this black little yarn. And then I'm just going to use that to tie it in the very middle of this little tool, just to make it kind of give it that little bow look. And then not really too worried about that black little tie because we're going to cover that up. The white one will have a, just like a little rhinestone in the front. And the black one is going to have one of those black flat hearts that I've been putting on everything. Yes, he's been putting it on everything. He's going crazy. But honestly, to tell you the truth, guys, you guys have to admit that those little hearts are really cute. So right here, all we're going to do is just hot glue these little bad boys onto the card because... I don't think that any of the other adhesives will work properly for this part. So we're going to use some hot glue for this part. And you could trim your little tool to whatever size you guys want and make them even, make them rounded. I mean, you could play around with this little bow a lot. So right here, we're just going to add our glue and then we're going to add our little black gem in the front, which is going to tie it all together. And that one is it for the little black one. I really think that was really cute. I like how that looks. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this little bad boy. But on this one, we won't be adding one of those little hearts. We're gonna be adding one of these rhinestone gems in the front. So it's just, I mean, it's the same concept, but it's just a different look, you know? <laughs> so. That's what we're gonna do right here, boo-boo. And literally, that's our cards. How freaking easy and classy are these? Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make these little fancy cards. Totally, totally freaking cute. That whole glare is not really letting you see this, but you know, the black one is amazing. That's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. And did you see how we use a little tool? Because, you know, the tool was a little different, kind of 
is Matthias is playing with his little doll instead of working. We're working right now, Matthias. But he was the one that chose the little tool. He pulled out a bunch of tools over there. And I guess he was like, look at all these. <laughs> and so it worked. It worked. Anywho, did you see that little move we did again with the little glitter paper? Take out the middle parts because that would have been wasted. <laughs> frugal, frugal. Anyways, um... I hope that inspired you guys to make a birthday card of some sort for that little special someone coming up because it's a birthday every month, Bobo. Every month is a birthday. And that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that notification because the notification is what tells you uh, when I upload a video. So don't forget to do that. And also share and tell a friend. I hope you're sharing and telling everybody. <laughs> right, Matthias? Right. Anyway, that's it for now, my little crafty marshals. My no, wait, hold on. Let's do that again because <laughs> that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. <laughs> I don't know what I said earlier. See, there he goes again. Every day is a tongue twister for you, boo-boo. <laughs> Goodbye.